Hey everybody, I'm Drew Hansland. Today I'm going to be making leather bound sketchbooks. Leather is another thing that I've never worked with, so I had to get some tools and then the actual leather. Let me show you what that looks like. For the tools, I bought a whole box of, of just leather stuff on Amazon for 20 bucks. This has everything I need and more. Uh, for the leather, I bought some scraps off of eBay. I didn't want to buy new leather from the store because it's part of an animal and I, I don't know how the people that sell the leather treat the animal. So this made me feel better to buy some scraps so that these aren't going to waste. This means I have to be kind of strategic with placing out everything because they're all different sizes and stuff. So I have this stuff and at the end I have some special leather that we'll finish it up with. Now the last thing that we need is the actual paper and for that I bought a, an actual sketchbook. Um, this is a, a cheap kind but it's for all mediums um, so it can be sketching, painting, all that kind of stuff, acid free. So I'm actually just going to disassemble this and then take the paper from it. But the paper is the first thing that we need to work on. on a fresh sheet of MDF uh, so that I can keep the paper as nice as possible and I should probably clean my hands too. I'm starting with the paper because the whole shape of the sketchbook um, revolves around the paper so I need to get the final dimensions of the paper first. I'm going to take half of this pile of paper and fold it in half but not all at once like this. I'm going to take little pieces out of that whole book and fold them and, and then put all those pieces together at the end. Okay, the paper worked really well. It's in clamps right now so that it will hold its shape better while I work on the, the leather so that when I take it out of the clamps, it won't like pop back to where it used to be. So now I'll start to work on the leather parts. And I need to show you a picture of how this is going to work. And because I'm using scraps, I can't do it um, the way you probably should do it maybe. I'm going to draw the book from this angle. So I'm going to start with the paper that you just saw and it's little booklets. So eventually all those booklets are going to come together and be glued into place. So each one is an individual booklet. Now the ideal way to do this would be have a piece of leather that wraps all the way around one continuous piece, but mine aren't big enough for that. So I'm going to do two small strips of leather on each side. So like these two faces, and then I'll have another piece that brings everything together and kind of binds it all together. So these pieces of paper will be stitched to this piece and then this piece will be stitched to these two side pieces. I'm going to start by cutting out these two side pieces. I literally have just enough leather to do this. Um, I have some other smaller scraps, but they're pieces like this. So I made a template that will be the size of the leather I need and that um, helped me mark everything out to make sure I could fit it in. And these are my only big pieces, so it's just enough. And then th these will be the outside binder pieces. I need a little tool. I don't know what it's called. Something to like chop off the corners. So I have this pipe that I'm going to use. Um, but I need to just isolate one side and then I'll sharpen it on the grinder. I just want to see if it works.
I need to cut the little back piece now that goes, that kind of connects everything together. These little pieces that hold everything together, um, they need to wrap around the leather and the paper, which is like an inch and an eighth. But in order to do that easily, I'm going to soak them in water. That will make them bend better. I don't know how long. We'll just see. It's making noise. Like... Weird. While these are soaking, I'm going to cut a, a strip of wood that's an inch and an eighth wide. And then when these are ready, I'll fold it over that wood. It literally sounds like birds. That's freaky. Okay, they've been sitting in this water maybe 10 or 15 minutes and it seems more flexible. It's a new day. Um, I made these pieces and I'm gonna scrap them. I have a new plan. So my plan was to put these on the end and then stitch the paper to this, but I didn't do any research or anything. And that's just not the best way to do it. So I did some research this morning and I actually watched a Jimmy DeResta video, which was um, like exactly what I needed. But the thing that I haven't told you about yet is that I have some fancy leather. Um, I bought this pre-dyed stuff off of eBay. So the thing said it was like hand-painted factory leather from 1968 and it has the date on here. I think that is so cool. So that is what I'm going to be using. I have all kinds of colors and stuff. Um, they're also just scraps. So that's what I'm going to be using to, to bind the back and everything together. I think it'll make it look much better. Okay, I don't even have it all figured out in my head, so I really can't explain it to you yet. But the first thing I'm going to do is, well, so I have these um, four folds, but that is too thick. So I need to um, make it into eight folds, so I'll split these in half. And then I need to stitch the pieces of paper together. Now I need to punch holes um, every inch or so in this back for each booklet. I'll stitch these together and then eventually they'll all go together. To keep the holes consistent in each one, I need to get kind of a story stick. So I'm going to mark every inch on this piece of cardboard and that'll tell me where to poke my holes. I made this little base here which I can set the, the paper on and that will line up the peak so that I can just punch it through. Now I'm going to stitch each booklet together um, using this waxed string or twine. I don't really know what it's called. Um, I'm going to feed it in one way. You'll see, but I'm going to find not go all the way like you would normally and then come back through and then tie the knot again where I started. I don't know much about sewing, but um, so I have this needle and um, instead of like putting the needle in the middle and then tying it at the ends, I don't, this, this is thicker than I wanted, so I'm actually going to tie the knot right at the base 
of the needle, so then I only have one strand going through. That just feels so professional. Like, it, it looks so cool. It looks like a real, um, like, it, like an old book. So now I have 11 more to do. Okay, that works well, and it looks really cool. It looks very professional. Um, and I was worried about the ends not lining up because earlier I had cut them all um, together, but now they're not together anymore, and at least it's so every single paper is uneven rather than um, just a block of papers are uneven with each other, if that makes sense. But now that I have all these pieces, the stitches are all on the outside, I can take every other one and put a piece of, of cloth or something in there and glue that in and that will hold this whole book together. This is cotton duck canvas, I think. It's just like the everyday canvas that you see everywhere. I'm gonna cut some strips of that and put it into here using some wood glue. Okay, now I have all these exposed threads up here that are loose, and these strips that I cut of the canvas are gonna go, are gonna weave in between those. And I'll glue that in here. I'm gonna use some wood glue. I don't have PVA glue. Um, I think wood glue will work just fine. This is a thing that you typically see on a on a lot of books, a little piece to conceal, um, like all the binding and stuff. So I'm just gonna glue this piece of, of canvas here. All right, while that dries, I have more canvas to cut. The canvas is going to act like, like these pieces were, um, something to just wrap around the leather and the paper to bind that stuff together. But obviously I don't want the canvas on the outside. I want it to look like leather. So I'm gonna wrap the canvas in this stuff and the canvas will give something for this stuff to adhere to because they, I don't have enough material to make a piece like this. So I'm gonna have to piece, puzzle piece them together. Okay, now is the time where I can attach the leather to the fabric 
Um, I'm gonna use barge. Barge is just a good contact cement um, and it'll stick instantly and hold it all together. You put a coat on, uh, let it dry for five minutes and then you stick it together and it's a permanent bond. There are some pieces of canvas that I'm not gluing down here and that's because I'm gonna use them for extra strength in the binding process that we'll do later. Okay, I was gonna do the next stage in like the binding process, but um, I think it all needs to happen at once, like everything comes together at one time so that way I can clamp it down and the glue can all dry um, in a flat position rather than all bumpy around the fabric. So I'm actually going to glue um, my backing to the, the actual faces. I think that'll allow me to um, glue everything together easier. is dry on here but I'm actually gonna do two coats because this is like a very important connection and there are no um, physical fasteners really um, so it, it's, it's just relying on the glue so I'm gonna do two coats did you catch it I put glue on the inside instead of the outside so th that's useless uh, it needs to be this way instead of this way, otherwise when I open the book, the, the inside will be on the outside. confused right now. I cannot figure out the order of operations to do things because like I've been forgetting about the things that I need to do like stain it and now I have the barge on so like do I stain it now and then I have this special paper to put on later so I have just all these things that I'm trying to figure out but I know right now I'm gonna put stain on and then I think I can assemble well well maybe not Okay, so I'm going to stain these pieces um, with just regular wood stain. I don't have any dye, but I've done some tests and it's worked just fine, so... In Jimmy's video, he put... it was like a, a mesh layer or something. So, I'm going to use a, a tack cloth. This is a um, a thing for like getting the sawdust off of wood before you finish it but it's like this this mesh stuff it's very loosely woven and it's super strong like you can't rip it at all all right I've got it mostly figured out I've cleared the table uh, laid it all on this MDF very neatly so that I um, I can get a better picture of where things are going to go and stuff. But the first thing I need to do is finally put these pieces together, the actual leather pieces together. Also, another thing I did is I scraped the back with a chisel just like this and that got rid of the, the, the tackiness. It exposed the real leather so that way the glue will stick. Okay, I am ready for assembly. I have all the pieces laid out. Um, I can't explain it to you because I don't fully understand it and it's just not gonna make sense. So you're just gonna have to watch. I'll try to get some cool shots.
Now is the moment of truth. Did it work or did I glue all the papers to themselves? There's a little bit of glue squeeze out like in between these two pretty papers, which isn't a big deal. Okay. I am so happy I did this project. These are gonna be given away as gifts and it makes me really happy that there are, they are high quality and um, they're gonna last a long time. The leather is beautiful. The, the 1968 leather is also beautiful. I feel confident in the binding that it will hold up for a very long time and I hope to make more of these in the future. It was very fun to make and I think if you could get an assembly line going like um, and maybe some better tools I think you could really make this pretty easily that's all I have for this one I really hope you enjoyed if you think I deserve a subscribe go ahead and do that uh, liking helps thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video